if the president presents to Congress a new deal, he's got to do it within the confines of trade promotion authority. And that would automatically upgrade. I mean, we have the authority to adopt this uh, ver a version of uh, the upgraded NAFTA. But uh, the suggestion that he could go bilaterally with just Mexico under the current trade promotion authority is uh, not correct. And so I'm hopeful that uh, he will be able to negotiate graciously with our Canadian neighbors. Kayla Taoshi, what happens now? Uh, it seems that the president has set up a scenario that perhaps is not uh, the way the process that Congress ha has allowed would otherwise go. Does he need for Congress to go along with this um, our way or the highway approach to negotiation with Canada? Uh, well, what the president really needs, John, is for Canada to come along. What was eminently clear to me from uh, that appearance by the president and the team that he has had negotiating NAFTA is that this will be a trilateral deal despite his protestations. You heard the president of Mexico, despite being the outgoing president, but he said that it is Mexico's wish that this is a trilateral deal, that Canada must be reincorporated into these talks for there to be a successful resolution. You heard Ambassador Lighthizer off camera when the president asked him when this deal will be signed, and Ambassador Lighthizer said this will be signed at the end of November. We're going to notify Congress by the end of this week. That, to me, signals that the U.S. Trade Representative has every intention of sending to Congress a trilateral deal with Canada that they hope they can get that in the next few days. Uh, another point that really stood out to me was um, the juxtaposition of the different trade situations that the White House currently has simmering. On one hand, you do have this uh, NAFTA resolution uh, very clearly on the horizon. The president says this is going to be a great deal for our farmers. Our farmers are going to be very happy. But in the background, you have a $12 billion plus aid package that the U.S. Department of Agriculture is just about to put in place to help farmers because of retaliation from China. And the president says it's not the right time to engage with China. Uh, we will talk to them at some point, but not now. So even as NAFTA and a deal on NAFTA appears within reach. Uh, there are still other issues outstanding where the White House is having to shore up support uh, with parts of the president's base. Uh, but I think one thing is clear, that's the parlor game of what this new deal is going to be called. It's clear NAFTA is politically unpalatable for President Trump. Uh, he wants to call it a U.S.-Mexico deal. That's not going to be the deal that we end up getting. So what is this new trilateral deal going to be called? Uh, that's what you're going to hear some people talking about this week. Yep. He did not offer any uh, possibilities on that. One last question to you, uh, Madam Ambassador. Uh, to Kayla's point about Lighthizer's timeline here, uh, seems aggressive. We're also noting that the market took a leg up during the president's comments. Does that suggest to you that maybe there is some back-channel agreement that we're not yet aware of with Canada? I don't think so. I think that uh, uh, we know what Canada is willing to agree to. We know what they are uh, unhappy about, and we are going to have to sit down at the table and negotiate with them. But we won't have a trilateral agreement, which is what Congress authorized, until we get their agreement. So it's going to have to be a, a good negotiation.